All right. Ranged Magicka Nightblade. Probably my favorite playstyle right now. Melee is good and all. Melee was my original playstyle for playing Magicka Nightblade. But, I don't know, there's just something about the tankiness of playing ranged that I quite enjoy. So, with this patch, there is a pretty big change to how lightning staves and fire staves work. Um, aesthetically speaking, I hate the change. <laughs> Uh, Function-wise, I'm okay with it. I'm not the biggest fan, but I can live with it. I can work with it. And in some cases, it actually does work as a benefit for me. I'm not a big fan of how I have to change all my fire staves to uh, lightning staves, because I have a lot of fire staves in my bag. Here's all my Destro staves. A lot of them are Inferno, especially my beloved Moon Dancer. But we're not here to lament that change. We are here to talk about it and how I'm making it work for this particular playstyle. Of course, Rallying Cry Ice Staff back bar, powered weapon damage enchantment, that has not changed. On front bar, we have War Maiden. Again, that has not changed since my last ranged build. American Ring of Majesty, that is swift. One piece swift, everything else is infused. That hasn't changed either. Balrog, hasn't changed. Cur Curious? chest plate of the trainee uh reinforced that hasn't changed either one thing i think that has i don't remember one thing that has changed from the last build is that i'm doing infused on my head and my legs to get a little bit of extra max magic and a little bit of extra max stamina out of it and i have one piece of in pen i should probably change it but i don't care that much so <laughs> it's staying in pen for now so that's my that's all my uh weapons and armor stuff although i, I should mention i did change the lightning staff that is the big change. Uh, sharpened Lightning Staff, War Maidens, uh, that has a flame damage enchantment. So, I'm using a Lightning Staff now. How does it feel? Eh, that's my answer. D the, the heavy attacks are definitely nice. Um, I actually did a few duels with them. I even tried Dark Cloak, um, and I'll go into that in a second. I did a few duels with it. It's fine. From the Light Attack Leaving perspective, it's fine. The heavy attack, it's nice. I... One thing that this particular kit has always struggled with is AoE. I don't really have a good way to hit people through dodge roll. Well, technically with a lightning staff, I have a chance to hit people through dodge roll. Um, I'm not a fan, aesthetically speaking, I'm not a fan of how you hold the staff. I don't like how you hold it upwards. I much prefer this. This, this looks more badass to me, but that is, that is an aside. Functionally speaking, it works fine. The heavy attack is satisfying the functionality, you know, it, it does its damage. I, I do damage, it's good. So I shouldn't complain that much and I probably won't complain that much aside from the aesthetics. Now, as for my skills, they're kind of the same. I've considered taking Camo Hunter off and replacing it with something else, but the passive damage that you get from Camo Hunter and the flanking damage that you get from Camo Hunter is kind of nice. So I'm sticking with it for now. That may change. I'm not sure what I'm going to change it to. If I change it, I considered doing uh, Sap Essence? No, Power Extraction. Because that gives you even more weapon and spell damage. But I don't know. So we're going with this for now. Um, and I actually, I've been using Dark Cloak. Uh, I did a few duels. Two of them were pretty good. The others were kind of whatever. It took me a second to warm up and I think I was having bad lag. But let's take a look at the duel. Because what, what's the big difference in this duel? I'm using fucking Dark Cloak and a Lightning Staff. So damage wise, it was fine. Everything's within normal parameters. I'm not using Dark Cloak for its healing. Uh, though the healing is pretty good. Every one second I'm healing for almost a thousand. And then I, I don't understand how this happened. I, I got a crit for 4k. It scales off my max health, and I don't have very high max health, so I don't know how that worked. I don't know why I'm getting one crit healing me for this amount, and then I get another crit that heals me for this amount. Could be a bug, could not be. Fact of the matter, I don't care. So because my max health isn't that high, Dark Cloak isn't that good in terms of healing, we're using it for the minor protection. One thing I've really found out from playing Warden is, holy shit, I can take a lot of damage. And most of that is because of minor protection that I get from, you know, passively from my skill. So this having minor protection on both bars, both offensively and defensively, 
I think it's actually worth using now. Even though the healing isn't that good, uh, previously I would say that for my playstyle and my builds, Dark Cloak was not worth it. Now, maybe. I still don't think it's worth it for the healing, but uh, th there is some amount of healing that we get from it. In addition to that, uh, we get the minor protection, which is pretty fucking strong. I quite like it. Um, otherwise, yeah, back bar has not changed much at all. Everything I said from the previous video still applies. You can use Soul Tether or Dawnbreaker. Those are my recommendations. Uh, I did say in the past you could use Undo. If you do end up using Dark Cloak, then don't use Undo. If you do end up using Shadowy Disguise, you can, you can use Undo. I have not decided which I'm going to stick with. So what I'm going to tell you guys now is that both Dark Cloak and Shadowy Disguise are viable and function pretty well. The only thing is that with Shadowy, Dis Shadowy Disguise, I feel the need to not use PvE spell power potions, and that's what I use on my Magicka Nightblade, unless I'm doing melee, which means I would then need a source of, uh, Brutal- no, Sorcery. <laughs> so, that makes me want to use Tri Potions. So, this means I'm getting the most out of it, and I definitely think for a duel, if, if you're doing dueling and you want to do dueling in a ranged build, this is the setup that I would use. This is the setup I did use. Um, I tend to not use Shadowy Disguise when I'm dueling anyways, so, you know, not that big of a deal. However, Dark Cloak, uh, I was able to stand up against a Templar, and normally I feel like I get a little panicky when they start using Beam. I didn't have to worry that much. I actually felt okay. So that's pretty great. Uh, as for any other changes, no. The only things that you could change is whether to use Dark Cloak or Shadow Disguise and what to put in this slot. Technically, you don't need Camo Hunter as much as you used to because of the Shadow Disguise change, but also the fact that we're using a Lightning Staff on front bar, which kind of helps us do AoE more. Um, you'll still have an issue with Cloaking Nightblades, which is probably why I'm going to keep Camo Hunter on, but uh, you could theoretically switch it out for something like uh, Entropy or some other dot. One thing to note about Entropy versus our class dot, which is uh, Debilitate or Crippling Grasp, is that Crippling Grasp and Debilitate have a very slow travel time, which means it is super easy to dodge them. It is not easy to dodge Structured Entropy, because it's basically instant. However, I'm not sure if this is an intended thing or if it's an oversight, but uh, let's let me go inside and I'll show you real quickly what I'm talking about. Structured Entropy, the animation for it, will give away your position if you are in Cloak. So, use Structured Entropy. You see that little dot that goes from them to me? That happens every time I get a heal from it, when I think it happens... It might happen on the other morph, I'm not sure. But, essentially, I can be in Cloak, and that animation will still play. So they can then use that animation to find where I am when I'm Cloaked. So, I would not recommend Structured Entropy. I'm not sure if the other morph does it. If it does, then this also applies. Don't use it. Uh, at least if you're doing a Cloak build. If you're not doing a Cloak build, uh, if you're doing a Dark Cloak, then you will be perfectly fine. As I mentioned, I'm still using PVs. Power Power Potions... Um, I have tweaked my CP to an extent. Let's pull this up again. So, Rejuvenation, that's the same. Fortified, that's the same. Pain's Refuge, that's the same. Relentlessness. I actually took this off and I tried others, and I still came to the conclusion that I like Relentlessness, but um, there are other passives that work as well. Make sure you're using Fighting Finesse. In the Melee Magicka Nightbleed video, I explained that using Order's Wrath double axes plus the shadow would get you a very high Merciless uh, tooltip, or very high Merciless crits. That is the same for this. I'm still using War Maiden. But I've found that most of the time, it's still pretty high if I'm using Fighting Finesse versus some of the other passives. So Fighting Finesse is the way to go here. Um, and I ended up deciding to use uh, Duelist or Blessed. That I didn't like it. But when I tried running with the group, I did like it because I was helping heal the group. So uh, for CP, that that that'll work. If you wanted to take this build in no CP, 
you're gonna have to make a few changes. One is that this monster set does not work because it's a proc. Same thing with Rallying Cry, unfortunately. Hell, even Transmutation does not work in No CP Cyrodiil. So you're gonna have to find a different set. Uh, and chances are you're probably gonna take Mark and Ring of Majesty off and you're gonna have two sets active at all time. You're, you're gonna have it be the old way, essentially. Um, I would probably do... Actually, Bright Throat technically counts as a proc, doesn't it? Fuck. Uh, I'd probably do something like uh, Amberplasm in addition to War Maidens, uh, potentially Order's Wrath, depending on what you're doing. Like, if you're doing Melee, I would do Amberplasm and uh, Order's Wrath, Double Axe if you're doing ranged. Uh, War Maiden Lightning Staff. That's the way to go. As for Monster, Sh monster Helmets and all that, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. But yeah, that's my ranged build. Um, one thing I, I do want to say, I did experiment with Incap versus Soul Harvest. I, I like Incap more. Um, I don't really have a stun, so Incap is definitely important. But the amount of damage that Soul Harvest does is pretty nice. So having Soul Harvest do a fuck ton of damage and do Defile, I definitely think it's kind of worth it. So if you're doing a gank build, you might want to consider Soul Harvest. Uh, just, just a thought. Otherwise, I think that covers everything. Um, if you want to take a look at my stats, let's buff up real quickly. Here are my stats, you know. Enjoy. This number does go up when we have Merciless uh, stacks. Let's take a look at the Merciless stacks. Okay. Of course, with Rallying Cry, this will be even higher, but so with full Merciless, this is what our damage looks like uh, with spell power. I've seen this build get up to almost 6,000 spell damage without using dual wield, so it's pretty nice. I think damage-wise, you're going to find that this is more lacking than Melee Magic and Nightblade for a variation of reasons, but this build is so much more survivable. Um, if you're a newer player, and you want to play Magic and Nightblade, this is the build that I would suggest for you. If you're okay with weaving. Again, if you're not good with weaving, don't play Nightblade. But if you're okay with weaving, this is the build that I would suggest for you. And if you like lightning heavy attacks, well, it now works on Nightblade. I, it, it's now actually good. So, yeah. I'm gonna hate Cyrodiil now. There's gonna be so much like undodgeable AoE crap, but it's gonna be so much fun. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the description. This wasn't really a full build video, it was more like a, a build update. So, yeah. Check it out. Try it out. Let me know what works, what doesn't work. Comments, questions, concerns. See you next time, and good luck out there.